in this lesson, we're going to finish up with our particle system. All right, so looking at our particle system, we're creating this dust particle. And we've gone through all of the modules that this particle system comes with, and we want to continue to modify its behavior. Where we left off was with the alpha over life, and we know that the alpha over life is a multiplier. So starting out at the beginning of the particle's life, it's fully opaque, meaning that we can see it completely, and then it fades to the end of its life where we can no longer see it. So it just fades out very slowly. Now what we want to do is we want to adjust the location that each particle is emitted. We want it to, um, to be able to spread out. Okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'm going to add a module. So to add a module, you want to click right below the emitter or on the emitter, and you can choose any one of these module categories. Now for us, we want to go to location. And location is going to give us a list of different modules that we can choose from. And so we can say, all right, well, let's do, um, we could do initial lo location on that. And so if we left click on that, we can start to explore what this means. So distribute, uh, distribution, the start location of that. Um, we could go ahead and we can set up these values here. So let's do something like 10 and 10 and 10, but then we'll do negative 10, negative 10 and negative 10. Let's make sure we type in negative 10 on that one. Okay, and so we're starting to get a little bit of this, this spread. Notice how the particles are popping in, though, and I don't really like how they pop in. I want them to uh, populate, but I don't want them to um, just immediately appear. So how do we change that? Well, the popping is from this alpha over lifetime. So whenever a particle is emitted and it, it is birthed or spawned, it's at full-on white value. So what we would need to do is add another point into this. Now, before we get into that, let's make sure that we nail down the location of this. Now, is this the best way of doing it? We could use it this way. I mean, if we come in and we take a look at our particle system, um, let's say that I save this really quickly, and then we go in. Uh, we can grab that particle system, and we can move it up, just kind of take a look at what we're getting here. And we're seeing that those are being spread out, and that's that seems okay. Uh, we could come in, and we could just continue to adjust that. We could take it a look at another distribution, uh, but I don't think that's going to give us exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and right-click, and let's go to another location and let's take a look at some of these other ones that we have available. Uh, we could do a direct location. We can have them emit up another place. Let's try one of these shapes. We have cylinder. Now below this, we also have sphere. And I know that that is um, off the screen here. Let's go ahead and try sphere. See what that gives us. Now look at this. See how those are emitting at some point in space? I kind of like the way that's working there. Now. Notice the initial spawn location. Okay, We can go ahead and remove that, seeing how we have our sphere. We don't want that to, we want to see what this behavior gives us without that in there. So we can actually turn that off, so that way we no longer see that. And then what we can do is go ahead and uh, restart the simulation, so that way we can see exactly how that is emitting out. Okay, it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and right-click on that initial location. I'm going to delete the module. Now, on the sphere, if we select it, we can go ahead and we can make some changes to this. Um, so looking at the start radius, okay, we can take a look at this. It's a value of uh, 50. If we want to, we can take this up to 100. Let's do 100, not 1,100, or even 1,000. Let's try just 100. There we go. So we get something that kind of looks like this. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and save that. Let's go into our scene, and let's just kind of check out what this looks like. So we're kind of getting these dust particles. Now, whenever you bring in a particle system, you can scale it. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. If you switch over to your scale tool, um, let's just come in here, and let's grab it on all three directions, and just scale that up. Now, notice that that's going to make your particles um, bigger. Okay, so you want to be very careful of that. Uh, you can spread those out, and that's just changing the size 
um, of those particles. So we still need to adjust the uh, the size on that. So let's go inside and let's go ahead and do something like let's set this up to like 300. Do something like that. Okay, so now these particles are being emitted out. Okay, we can kind of see how that's working there. That's not too bad. We can go ahead and grab our move tool. Now this is just a very basic particle system. We don't want to get too far into all of this. Okay, you see those are coming in, and then they're fading out. Okay, um, let's go ahead and take that scale. Let's go ahead and reset that, so that way we're not we don't have those particle systems just or those dust particles just really large like that. I still want to take their initial size down on that. So let's go ahead and take the initial size. Let's go ahead and set this to, uh, let's do a max of four and then a minimum value of one. Okay. Save that, go into your scene and you can see how those look there. Now we still have our particle system selected. So if we deselect that and we go in here, you can start to see like some of those particles kind of floating around in there. Now it's kind of hard to see on some of those. We may want to go ahead and bump that up a little bit more. Actually, we may even want to adjust the overall um, distribution, how many are being spawned at one time. So let's set that up to 40 and save that. Take a look at that there. So getting a few here and there. We definitely need to get some more motion on that too. Let me go ahead and bump that up even higher. Let's do 80. because I want to see a little bit more dust in the air here. Okay, So this is a slow moving particle system. Obviously particle systems can get uh, very volatile. I mean we can create fire, we can create uh, explosions, lots of really really cool effects, but this is one of the easiest ones to kind of get started with that, um, that cascade editor. So let's add just a little bit more uh, movement to these. Uh, we could do that by coming in and adding another module. And so we can do things like rotation. Uh, we can set up an initial rotation or a rotation over life, a rotation rate. Um, let's come in and let's do, let's take a look at acceleration. Maybe we can get a little bit of drag in there. So whenever they come out, they kind of move a little bit. Um, I want a little bit of wind resistance I'm in that, so that's what drag is going to kind of help with. Let's also add in another module and let's do rotation. Let's do an initial rotation on that. And taking a look at it, let's just take a look at it, the value that we have here. So we have 0 to 1. Let's take that initial size up really quickly. Let's just take that up to like 10. Just so we can see that a little better. Okay, Maybe take the um, initial velocity up a little bit. Let's do something like 2. And negative 2. And this is this is the effects um, itself. We come in and we start to play with some of these values and really start to hone that in. Get a little bit of movement here and there. Okay, so we're getting a little bit and that drag, if we go ahead and turn that off, let's go ahead and restart our sim. The, the drag, what it does is it allows the speed to come out at an initial volume, okay, or initial velocity, and then the drag slows it down over its life. Okay, so if I came in and let's say I did initial velocity, and let's say I set this to maybe 5. And they do a negative five. Okay, you can start to see some of those moving around a little bit more. Okay, that's kind of giving us the, the result I'm looking for. I just want some dust to kind of move. Now if I turn that drag back on and I hit restart this the sim or restart the level, you'll notice those come out and then they start to slow down. So whichever you like on yours. I'm going to go ahead and delete that module because I, I like a little bit more movement in that. If 
think it works really well. Okay, so then let's go back to our initial size. Let's go ahead and set that to uh, 5 on those, on the max, and we'll leave the min at 1. Okay, we have our rotation. It's kind of moving things around a little bit. You can go ahead and bump that up maybe a little bit more. Let's do 4 on that. We can get a little bit more rotation out of that. A little bit more uh, drag in there. Okay, or a little bit more movement in there, I should say. And so let's go ahead and save that. Let's go into our scene. You can see that we get these dust particles starting to move around a little bit. Okay. Now, what we would want to do is we probably would want to change the overall lighting, the overall mood that we have here. Change this maybe to a night scene, and that might help kind of bring some of the, the dust particles out and be able to see those a little bit better. Okay, but not too bad. We can we can bump up that rate a little bit more maybe on the the spawn. So do 120, get a little bit more particles as it's because it's being spread out so much. And come in. Just kind of take a look at what we've got here. All right, so um, now that we've got that, that particle system set there, I'm okay. You can kind of play around and experiment with that a little bit more. Um, there's one other thing that I want to show you really quickly. Let's go ahead and finish off the atmosphere of um, our scene here. I want to make this a night scene, okay? And so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at kind of bringing all of this together um, in our next lesson. And then after that, we'll talk about your final assignment for this course.